Hey guys, we got some bad news. Today, Siegfried Linkwitz uh, died, and uh, this is really sad to me. Um, there's a lot of great people in the audio world, in the audio industry, but in terms of a guy who is DIY orientated, uh, it's really hard to top this guy. He is an incredible person and champion for the hobby and for the audio scientific community in general and um it's it's a pretty sad thing uh the reason i wanted to make a video about this and share it is uh not to appear like a saint or something like that but to spread the news that this happened and also to make you aware of his website and what a valuable resource it is because i'm not sure what will happen to his website um obviously his designs will stop uh, he can't design speakers anymore, unfortunately, and um, the resources that are on that website are cr pretty incredible. Um, so if you're into the technical side of speaker building, um, like I am, then I really suggest you go check out this website. I'll post a link in the description and right here maybe on the screen and check it out. Also, there are a number of YouTube videos where uh, Mr. Linkwitz, um did lectures about how sound interacts with the room and why he prefers open baffle and omnidirectional speakers material that i could never imagine uh putting on this channel that's for sure uh, much more valuable to hear it from him he he really knew his stuff a phenomenal engineer and he'll be greatly missed so anyways please uh check out his work on his website uh check out any of those videos and learn from him He's certainly a more important, important person to learn from than I am. He was so good at the scientific aspect of speaker design, but he was also humble about it. You know, when people asked him, well, why does this speaker sound good and not measure well and stuff? He was always realistic about, you know, taking measurements with a grain of salt and everything. Often measurement people like myself were criticized for uh, looking at the data instead of listening to the speaker and stuff like that, which is generally rubbish. We don't do that. but. He was very good at um, using the measurements to guide good sound and uh, keeping that very fu you know, fundamental, um, the tools uh, that we have to measure our speakers and to understand how to make better speakers. But ultimately, he really cared about the sound quality. He, he was into uh, just getting the absolute maximum performance and sound quality, very natural sound out of his speakers. Uh, and into recording live music and then playing it back on his speakers. Um, I think he even has some music files available for download on his website. Again, provided it's all still there. Um, he has excellent papers about this stuff. It's just a gold mine of information. And unfortunately, he's not here with us anymore. So anyways, guys, uh, this guy must have the hardest name to say in the world. But uh, please rest in peace, Siegfried Linkwitz and uh, you'll be missed. Thanks for all your contributions to DIY speaker building, and I, for one, have learned a ton from you and will cherish that knowledge. Thank you. Bye.